Hello, I'm Dr. Ju Michelle from Bull Bottom Veterinary Hospital, and today I would like to talk to you about life preservers for dogs. So a lot of dogs really like swimming, and there's a lot of excellent places that are safe, that are not really rapid currents, but are more like lakes that you can bring your dog. A lot of people also go boating, and even if their dog doesn't go in the water, it's nice to have that safety feature of having a life preserver on your dog. So the brand that I like the best is this one. I like it because it's um, reflective coating. You can actually see the dog from a distance. The color is really, really bright red, and you can see it in the water. And it also fits well. There's definitely different sizes depending on how big your dog is. Um, this is my little Border Terrier Sante, and we'll talk about how um, to properly fit her. Um, she is only eight kilograms, so like less than 20 pounds. And so this life preserver goes up to 20 pounds. So what I do first of all is just take off her leash and her collar. I always positively reinforce, so it's good to kind of let your dog have cookies know that it's doing a good job when they're um, like doing anything new. So always like positive training is very important and it will prevent fear in the dog. And so I've basically undone the, um, the little um, buckles and all the Velcro and I basically slip it around her body, attach it with the neck first, and there's a Velcro that you put in first, and then there's also an adjustable buckle, and this is a very safe buckle, it's not thin, it's uh, very strong. And then I also will put uh, the Velcro wrap around, first with her, um, the sharp side of the Velcro, and then the dull side of the Velcro, and then there's a nice snap system as well, right here. And then you can just snap it in and snap it in. And I kind of like to cinch it tight, just like as if it was a horse wearing a saddle and it's like a girth. You don't want to do it too tight because you want the dog to be able to move and you don't want them to restrict their breathing capacity. But I like this amount. I know this is not going to come off. Um, it has several safety features. So say if you need to haul your dog out of the water, you can grab right by this really good um, handle. I also like to keep a leash on the dog that can get wet, that you can also see it should be a bright colored leash as well. And so you can have the dog's leash on in the boat and you can have um, something to hold on to to the dog as well. A lot of dogs might want to jump out of the boat so that at least if they're wearing a leash they can't get too far. Some of my clients actually like to let their dogs go swimming in a pond or a lake or even a tiny river that's not too um, fast and they will be walking, like the owner will be walking along the shoreline while the dog is swimming in the water and you can attach the rope, like you get even longer ropes so that when the dog gets hooked too far, you can just kind of pull them back in. So a lot of dogs can get trained to use these and they work very, very well. And definitely it's a matter of practice on dry land first, like let your dog walk with it and learn what it's like wearing it before you bring it in the water the first time. So if you have any questions, please give us a call. It's 403-278-1984, or check us out on our website at www.bobonvet.com. Thank you very much.